It's Minnesota. It's near the Canadian border. That it's not that atypical for those folks, especially with the open plane to work with. They really can get some very cold air plunging in from Canada. Right now, though, we are actually just waiting for the cold air from Canada to reach us. For now, it's actually pretty warm outside. A little halo from all the moisture that's building across our atmosphere outside the Boardwalk Plaza. This is in Rehoboth, but no wet weather to speak of yet. Clearly, it's on the way, and you can understand why there are blizzard warnings. Look at that wraparound around uh, that area in the Great Lakes. But the frontal boundary that's trailing in the wake of this storm. That's what is eventually going to cross our area. That's what brings in our wet weather issues later on today, especially, but you can already see the leading edge of some rain. So with that surge of warmth from the south already, a few little speckles of green showing up around the Delmarva Peninsula. I won't be shocked if you run into a quick shower here and there before the morning is all said and done and even early afternoon. And that is what future weather is predicting even by 7 a.m. A little smattering of very light showers. It's later today, though, that you're really going to need the umbrella. So if you're able to escape this and you're traveling east of Philadelphia, you know, the heaviest rain is going to hold off for a few hours, but this is 6 p.m. So those of you in the Lehigh Valley heading west on the PA Turnpike to get home, you may encounter this on your drive home, but the heaviest rain will come through the Philly area about 9, and I'd say anywhere in case this decides to speed up between 7, 9, or 10 p.m. That's the general window for the really heavy stuff to cross our area, and then it clears out very early tomorrow morning. So our seven-day forecast about to get a heck of a lot colder in the wake of this front, but today is the warm day. Sunday, we don't even break out of the 30s. But overnight Friday into Saturday, maybe a few snow showers south and east. And I wouldn't be shocked to see flood.